Senator Zito. Thank you, Madam President. <clears throat> I want to start by saying I appreciate all of the debate that we've heard on the floor today about this issue. And I think that as we see it as a call to action and we, as we see it as a stand for the sovereignty of our state and for our people, I think it's also important to remember that much of what we see and much of what we have to comply with with the federal government comes from the fact that billions of federal dollars flow into our state, not just from the COVID money, but in general. And I think that it's important for us to remember going forward that if we are going to declare our sovereignty as a state, and if we are going to declare our sovereignty as citizens, we need to take into account the financial side of this as well. I think that um, when we look at this from a realistic point of view, in the last five years, in my time in the legislature, when we started, 35% of our budget was federal money, and today it's 45%, and that doesn't seem to be anything that's going to change. So I applaud this effort. I'm grateful for the time that went into it, and I'm grateful for all of the debate here today, and I would hope that going forward, we could possibly use more caution when we accept those federal dollars and truly be a sovereign state. Thank you, Madam President. Is there further debate?